Hi, I'm Andrew Bat Rawdon, and I'm the curator of Vivid uh, New Wave Sound at the Seymour Centre, and you are watching the AU Review. Well, um, I've had a good relationship with the Seymour Centre for a number of years. We've, uh, I've got a resident company there. Well, we used to be resident company, but we got kicked out this year, but that's all right. <laughs> Called Chronology Arts, and we uh, ended up um, talking about being involved in Vivid Festival and uh, because I'm an expert in music or well, contemporary classical music in particular uh, they asked me to come on board to do some curatorial uh, work with them for you know for the proposal and so in the first year I, I had a ver quite a um, I suppose eclectic proposal of events and uh, we put it on and we got an Australia Council grant uh, which was brilliant to, to help us out. The Seymour team were fantastic to work with the producer and the marketing team there and the artistic director. Um, so it was a very easy gig to pull off. And uh, we produced this great series of events uh, with some extremely experimental music and some music that wasn't, uh, wasn't well, a little bit more accessible, I would say. And uh, we decided to do it again this year. And here we are. And there seems to be a focus on it being Australian, all Australian. Well, I'm a composer and I, I really like to promote my colleagues and, and to help Australian music generally. It's a very core focus of mine and so that's sort of part of the artistic remit of New Wave Sound at the Seymour Centre. We've got a whole range of different artists from the more emerging artists to really established people. Robin Fox is a name that a lot of people within the contemporary music scene know, uh, but he's going to be doing a lighting show for us. It's sort of with, with lasers. He's an extremely intelligent programmer of music and light. So it's a very intense experience. You can't last more than 40 minutes, I don't think, which is why the program is that long. It will be very intense and it'll be very cool. Uh, we've got... I was really lucky to get a Jessica Rizzotti passing through Sydney. She's actually a singer from Melbourne uh, uh, who she specialises in contemporary classical works and she's commissioned a whole program of new music for her with electronics by some amazing composers, including Anthony Pateras, who is a Melbourne composer who's now living in Europe. He was in Brussels last time I checked, but I think he may have moved to Berlin. Uh, but he featured in last year's uh, Vivid Festival that I put on and um, but he's done stuff with the ACO and, and well, all around the world really he's one of the best electronic artists we've got in th on earth really um, so his new piece for Jessica Rizzotti is something that I'm looking forward to uh, Claire Edwards is a name that everybody in classical music would know as being one of the most famous percussionists we've got in the country and she's going to give a solo marimba recital, which may sound pretty softcore, but actually the music she's performing is by some pretty hardcore composers, uh, especially by a mate of mine, Alex Pozniak. She's, starting, uh, she's going to be premiering a new work of his, and I'm really looking forward to that. F Philip Johnston, he's a, an amazing jazz uh, musician, and he's got this fantastic film from 1923, um, about Prince Ahmed. It's an animated film and he's doing a, a jazz score on top of it and it's going to be incredible because I've seen the film and obviously it's with with not a lot of technology behind it so it's quite lo-fi and to have his really hardcore uh, jazz sound on top of it with his band is just incredible um, and which is similar to The Wires. The Wires uh, have got this very beautiful um, visual landscape running behind them as they perform their jazz improvisations and they're sort of reacting off the video which as they're all brilliant musicians including with vocals is going to be a cool experience and for me I mean every every single performance is going to be a highlight it just depends on what you're into uh, I suppose you can buy tickets for individual shows and as a package you can buy because uh, we're on for three nights on Friday Saturday Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, you can get tickets for the entirety of Thursday, entirety of Friday, or entirety of Saturday, or just pick out the events that you want.